guys, the family of Anila Dembe, the late fiance of Kanan, a.k.e. Forbes, is taking the National Prosecuting Authority, NPA, to the High Court for failing to reveal the contents of a docket that led to his decision not to prosecute the late rapper for her death. And the question is like, why now? Why now, guys? All along, a.k.a. was alive. The Dembe's were given a chance to mourn their child together with the whole of South Africa. Even the fops they mourned with them. Why right now when the fops are supposed to mourn their child and they start coming with everything? Guys, there's a story that I just didn't bring to you yet. It's a story that's in my projects. I was supposed to do it. It's only that sometimes the work gets just, just gets... I just have too much to do and I end up forgetting the other things. The other new things come, I end up rushing for the new things and leaving the old things. It's something that happened like two days back where their lawyers were saying he killed the, the, the Anili. The question is like, why now, guys? Why should this thing come like at the same time when this guy is supposed to get to be buried? And then Honestly, as for me, guys, I wish this two never met. I wish AKE never met Anile. Maybe we'll still be having AKE right now. Maybe Anile will still be alive as well. Guys, let me fetch for you what, how Twitter responded regarding this whole thing. Love by it said Anile Dembe was on drugs and depression. Pity AKE met her at the very worst of her time. Now her family be blaming AKE. That time... They were never there for their daughter. That's how wealthy families are. They never see when their own needs help. Another user, unfortunately, I cut her name when making the screenshot. She said, as a boy, mom, I pray my son will never cross paths with girls that will change them for the worst. I wish he never met this girl. Same to me, darling. I definitely wish these people never met. And guys, let's pray for our children. Let's pray for our children, guys. Yo, boys love too much. They love too much that they even forget themselves. And he said, so let's get the straight. A.K.A. never abused DJ Zintle, Bonang, Nicole, Nadia, no one. Then one day he just turned into a monster and killed Anile. No way. They killed Kenan for nothing. Lisa said, uh, he, he, she quoted Nota, now you can connect the dots. Anile Tembe is no just somebody who can pass away in tragic circumstances and not answered for. Those people will want answers. They need definite answers. And I hope you understand what that means, guys. Mindy Mandi Sanvilas said, is why now? A.K.A. was alive and you all didn't do shit to get justice for your daughter. Never challenged the NPA's decisions. Now it gets shot and killed. Now you all suddenly enraged. Sounds to me you all still have a, a grudge. They definitely have a grudge. Yeah, they definitely do. Daddy takes an old post from... Times Live, where it's written on December 11, Nelly Tembe carried a lonely figure standing on the edge of a ledge on one of the top floors of the iconic 19 story Hilton Hotel in Durban just before 8 a.m. The Sunday Times can reveal that. That a risky rescue was being planned as emotional scenes played out in a 50-odd minute standoff that could have ended tragically. Yo. And then his comment was, I wish A.K.E. never met that girl. That was his downfall. As for me, guys, I see mind games right here. I see someone trying to divert the attention. I see someone in a panic mode. Someone is definitely panicking, guys. But anyway, I'll drop it right there. I don't want to rub on some more salt into injuries. I'll just drop it right there, guys. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. Please remember to keep your comments civil and respectful. Remember to give this video a like if you liked it. Remember to share it. And also consider following or subscribing just in case you are not, guys. My love is real. I'll see you on the next video.